Ever wondered how much experience you actually need to get started as a digital marketer? In this video, I'm gonna break down my personal experience as a digital marketer, working my way up in the industry, why everyone needs to think about becoming a T-shaped marketer, and what is a 10,000 hour rule and whether it matters, and how so many others, including myself, was able to use all of this to become a self-taught digital marketer in the industry. I made this video to break down the skills that truly matter in the fast-paced world of digital marketing, so you can become one even faster. All right, let's get to it. I wanna first talk about this concept of the 10,000 hour rule that I first came across in Malcolm Gladwell's book, The Outliers. And it's this idea that it takes roughly 10,000 hours of practice to achieve mastery in any field. And that really made me reflect on how much does this apply to my personal experience in digital marketing, especially as I mentioned that I completely self-taught myself throughout the years of ever since the first time I got started. And thinking back to when I just followed my curiosity, learned as much as possible in the shortest amount of time possible. So here's how I break it down. So in my opinion, 10,000 hours is a very long time. It breaks down to roughly 250 weeks, which then breaks down into 4.8 years. So although I think anyone with 4.8 years of regular practice in anything probably will be a mastery in that field, I think in digital marketing, it's a completely different story. And I think the success in any industry is really about thinking outside the box and how can we achieve the fastest results in the shortest time possible. So in my personal experience, it's not about the amount of time that you put into it, but rather how you're using that time effectively. So you want to really think about how to strategically level up your experience in the area in digital marketing that truly matters. Think of it like a video game, right? Where you're leveling up behind every single campaign, project, or client that you take on. If you're currently considering going to the digital marketing industry, I'm excited to tell you about Digital Marketer School, the ultimate comprehensive course and program to help you get started with in-demand skills in digital marketing, while having fun. And to give you a roadmap to becoming a self-taught digital marketer with a successful future in the industry. If you currently have a business, these new skills will also help you and your team build a sustainable and profitable pipeline of customers and clients. You can sign up for the waitlist in the description below to be the first to know when it launches this year. So let's map out this timeline. In the early stages, you're gaining your foundational skills. You're learning all about different areas in digital marketing. You're getting a nice general understanding of how everything fits together. And you can get all of this from watching online courses, watching YouTube videos like this one, following the very different thought leaders in the industry, and also signing up to newsletters that features real world examples. And as you progress, you're leveling up your points. At this point, you're probably thinking about testing out some of the strategies in your own test campaigns, not only implementing them, but also learning from what's working and what's not working. And this is why I always talk about the testing first mentality is that you wanna test everything that's either in a theory format or maybe someone else has said it worked for them. Because in the, the day, you will never know until you test it on a real world example, especially in your own real world campaigns. Now, the key thing here is that you're doing consistent, but also purposeful practice on a regular basis. Does that mean to have five years experience to so even break into this industry? Not necessarily. And now in part two, I really wanna dive into the reality behind going for a broad experience versus a very focused experience, which is why I like to call the quality versus quality dilemma. And if you haven't heard about this concept of T-shaped marketer, I really wanna share this with you in the sense that what we wanna aim over time is to have a nice general understanding of all the different various phases and different channels in digital marketing. And then what you wanna think about is, are there any particular channels that really makes you very interested? as an individual to hone your skill in that area. So for me in the beginning when I got started, I really wanted to focus on social media because that was the area that I was most interested in. And that interest really shows because I spent my spare time in the evenings and weekends while I was doing my job in the daytime to really learn as much as possible about different social media platforms. And I became the best student that I could be on those platforms learned the ins and outs, how to do different hacks and techniques to help grow the audiences there. And that made me become an expert in social media rather than just known as a digital marketer generalist. And for you, that might be something else. You might be interested in paid social media ads where literally you're known as the expert behind running amazing paid ads across on social. Or you could be someone who's into SEO, search engine optimization, where literally you're helping other clients and companies climbing the ranks in search results. But my key point here is that having a really nice niche focused understanding of a channel trumps becoming a broad generalist anytime. And bringing back to that 10,000 hour rule, imagine you spend a thousand hours really becoming the master of Facebook ads, 
That makes you much more valuable than someone who spent 10,000 hours becoming a digital marketing generalist. And let me know in the comments below which area in digital marketing is the most interesting to you right now. I look forward to hearing from you. So for me, I decided to put my stick in the ground. I'm gonna say, right, I'm really interested in social media marketing, and this is the area I'll become an expert in, but I know enough to be dangerous, right? To know every single channel within digital marketing. So when I do put together a digital marketing strategy, I know where social media really fits in well for this particular client or project. And I can always bring in expertise from other areas in digital marketing to help me make this entire vision and strategy happen. And that brings me to the last part of this trifecta of how to become an effective digital marketer and how much experience you actually need. And that is knowing how to do practical application in the real world. So it doesn't matter how much we all learn spending, let's say a thousand hours on Facebook ads or learning all about SEO. The key thing is that you want to apply what you learn in the real world. So whether that's through internship, personal projects, freelancing, having that hands-on experience can be your secret sauce. And in my opinion, applying what you learn not only gives you a leg up in terms of skills, but it allows you to build one of the best personal resume and also portfolios to show to your potential employers, or maybe to your potential clients. Because there's nothing more powerful than social proof. What other people are saying about you really matters. And employers and potential clients really look for those impact that you made on other individual projects or things that you worked on in the past. So remember to grab as many testimonials as you can in your process of gaining all these experiences. So one of the best ways that I found that helped me in building my business over time as a digital marketing agency, but also helping me to climb the ladder as a digital marketer is really showcasing those previous testimonials from my previous employers, but also my previous clients as well. So in this video, we talk about how much experience you actually need to get started as a digital marketer. If you enjoyed this video, I think you definitely enjoy this whole entire playlist of digital marketing for beginner series, where you get to learn every single digital channel there is, but also how to apply it together as a digital marketing strategy. I really hope that this helps you in your learning process. So remember to focus on the quality of your experience, specialize where you can, and always apply what you learned. This industry is waiting for your unique experience and also perspective. If you found the video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time I release a video like these. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.